Yeah, so uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Akshya. Uh, I'll be presenting my research on the topic of impact of COVID-19 on children's IQ, focusing on the cognitive and developmental uh, challenges faced during the pandemic, as well as strategies for recovery. Uh, introducing myself, my name is Akshya Garapali. I'm an undergraduate student in Ohio University, majoring in biological science, specialized in neuro. I have dropped my email address if anyone want to reach out. Uh, today, we'll be looking at how uh, COVID-19 affected the IQ levels in students and uh, look at the socioeconomic disparities, uh, which resulted in increased level of, uh, decreased level of IQ levels and a case study and the health impacts of COVID-19 and then discuss about it. Uh, to begin with, uh, let's look at the global uh, impact of COVID-19. The COVID-19 uh, pandemic has dramatically altered the daily lives, leading to uh, severe consequences worldwide. Millions of lives were lost and uh, econom economies were severely suffered. The implementation of the lockdown and the shift to virtual learning has a significant interruption in children's education and social engagement. These disruptions has raised concerning uh, uh, these disruptions have raised concerning children uh, effects on children's intellectual uh, capacities and uh, holistic cognitive development. The pandemic has not only disrupted the uh, uh, educational practices that has uh, also significantly impacted children's uh, social interactions and emotional well-being. As we know, early years are crucial for cognitive development and the challenges posed by a pandemic could have long lasting effects. Uh, now let's discuss the effects of IQ levels. Uh, research shown that children's born during the uh, pandemic have exhibited reduced verbal, motor, and uh, cognitive performances compared to their pre-pandemic peers. In particular, studies indicated that a measurable decre decline in average IQ scores, which can be attributed to several factors, including uh, increased parental stress, decreased cognitive stimulations, uh, many children face less interaction with peers and educators, which were vital for cognitive development. For instance, the lack of uh, in-person learning experiences means that the children missed out on uh, critical hands-on activities that foster the learning, uh, learning and engagement. This has led to an apprehension, uh, apprehension about long-term impact on intellectual development. Uh, a crucial aspect to consider is the socioeconomic disparities. These, uh, trans uh, the transition to online learning exposed significant gaps in access to technology. Uh, lower income families often struggle to provide uh, real, reliable internet and uh, devices for their children's education. The digital divide has uh, profound implications. A uh, disadvantaged ho household not only allocated fewer hours for their children's education, but also had increased dropout rates. Moreover, children with disabilities are uh, learning impairments or uh, uh, couldn't have access to tailored education, which has worst worsened their, ch worsened their challenges, highlighting the urgent need for uh, targeted interventions. Uh, to illustrate these challenges, I have conducted a case study involving a 17-year-old student, Indian student. Bef uh, before the pandemic, the student has achieved an impressive score of 466 out of 470 in their uh, junior year of high school. However, during their freshman year in uh, college, they experienced a marked decline in academic performances. Uh, the student attributed this decline to challenges uh, posed by virtual uh, classes, particularly the lack of uh, uh, in-person or direct monitoring and uh, interaction with their professors. Uh, they mentioned struggling to uh, stay engaged uh, and focused, which is a common issue among uh, students during this time. Often students I, interv often students I interviewed had similar comments emphasizing 
uh, how the absence of in-person engagement affected their motivation and academic performances. Increased level of stress and anxiety were also prevalent uh, for the compounding uh, for the compounding the difficulties they faced. Uh, now let's turn to the health impacts of COVID-19. Uh, beyond educational interruptions, there's a growing evidence that even a mild case of COVID-19 have can lead to a cognitive deterioration. Uh, recent studies uh, who contacted uh, re, uh, recent studies shown that the decline is concerning, especially when the when considering the long term effects of cognitive deficit that may persist. Uh, year or more post infections. Uh, these findings suggest that the effects of pandemic extended uh, beyond immediate education disruptions, potentially leading to lasting impairments in cognitive uh, functioning. Uh, in light of uh, okay, in light of these uh, findings, what can be done? Uh, I propose several uh, initiatives. Uh, aim to facilitate recovery and minimizing the uh, adverse effects of pandemic. Uh, a few strategies uh, I proposed in my paper include uh, providing tutoring and remedial classes to students. Uh, schools can offer targeted uh, support to help students which can, which can catch up on missed classes, missed learning opportunities. Uh, this can uh, this can uh, include both in-person and online tutoring options. Uh, it is also essential to ensure that all students uh, access to reliable technology, uh, initiative to provide uh, internet access and devices to disadvantaged families can help bridge the digital divide. Uh, equipping parents with resources and training to create a support of home learning, uh, home learning environment is also crucial. Workshops and online resources can empower parents to foster educational growth at uh, foster educational growth at home, and implementing uh, ongoing uh, evaluation of academic and emotional progress can help students uh, can help. Uh, professors identify students who require additional support and school uh, should prioritize mental health resources to assist students uh, struggling with uh, mental health issues and resources to assist students struggling with stress and anxiety. Uh, there's another really good initiative that can be included is that uh, uh, a program called as SEL which is uh, abbreviated as social, uh, social and emotional learning opportunities. These programs have a curricula which can uh, help children develop resilience and emotional regulation and uh, coping strategies to navigate the challenges they face. So in conclusion, the COVID-19 pandemic has posed significant challenges to children's cognitive development and educational progress. However, by implementing targeted strategies, we can work towards uh, providing support to these to students in recovery and minimizing the long-term effects on cognitive disruptions. The insights gained from this research underscore an urgent need to address the issues to enhance the education system and promote cognitive growth in our society. Uh, thank you for your attention. I welcome any questions or further discussions regarding my findings.